Hey, back again. Um, it's now 72 hours uh, since I injured my back. Um, so, three days. This is what we usually expect for the acute phase. So this is the stage where your body's going through swelling, um, sensitizing. Uh, it's starting to heal, no doubt about it, but it's, it's, it's really the worst phase. And it's, the, it's the phase where you critically, you have to ice. You got ice regularly if you've just done a, a recent soft tissue injury. So I've done as much as I can over the weekend. I did have to work all Saturday morning. Um, I injured myself on Friday morning. I uh, did have to work on Friday, but I managed to ice most of the day there. Uh, Saturday was difficult. Saturday afternoon was okay. Sunday I continued to ice. Um, I have continued to move through that acute phase. Uh, sometimes it's not the best thing to do. Uh, best to get some advice on that. But generally speaking, don't be afraid to move. Um, so now I'm about to embark on the, the subacute phase. Now at this stage, um, I still have pain when I get right into range but instead of it being a sharp grab of pain now it's just it's it's a it's a relatively reduced pain it's it's a dull pain a uh, bit more of an ache maybe uh, and definitely stiffness that's what you can expect with a soft tissue injury you go out of that acute sharp pain and then the pain starts to reduce and stiffness will increase um, you'll actually reduce the stiffness by actually staying moving as best you can uh, as long as you don't overdo it you'll allow those tissues to start to heal and uh, things will start to knit back together. At this stage though, you've got to start giving your body the message that uh, I, I know you're knitting back together, good body, but uh, you need to allow for this much stretch and for this much contraction. And so that's what I'm starting today. Today I'll be starting doing some mobilizing, some stretching, uh, and basically just, if nothing else, getting my nervous system to say, Hey, it's okay. It's been sensitized over the last three days, as in my nerves have been turned on. They're a little bit more sensitive, and that's part of that whole protective thing. Um, your body just says, hey, you've injured yourself. Back off a little bit, uh, but now it's 72 hours later. I need to get the nervous system used to the idea of moving again. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm not going to make, make any more posts uh, on this for the moment uh, because I think I'm pretty much on track. Um, what I hope, if you followed this series, what I hope you've gotten out of this is that with the right advice, uh, you can uh, avoid a lot of distress. You can get, uh, you, you, you can avoid being in aggravating postures. Uh, you'll know exactly what type of treatment to use at what stage, whether you should use ice or heat. And there are circumstances where you need to use heat, basically muscle spasm, um, but it pays to get an expert's advice on how to apply the appropriate modality. Okay, um, a little bit of hands-on along the way doesn't hurt. I actually have uh, gotten a little bit of hands-on from my colleagues, um, but a, a bit of advice goes a long, long way. And that's why I'd, I encourage you, if you have an injury, um, by all means, use some of the advice I've used today. Know that the advice I've used today, uh, to date on this particular case is probably specific to me, it's specific to my case, specific to this particular structure which has been injured. So get some advice early on exactly how you should manage it and you'll come through the whole thing a lot faster and probably feeling completely fine. All right? um, come and see us at Success Health, we're at Edelong or Ningara and we'll be happy to help you out. All right, um, thanks for sticking with me. Uh, if I have any problems down the track, I'll keep you in the loop. Bye for now.